Hello everyone, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity, and today I'm in my little lab I call the Funkstown Skunk Works, and I'm just going to do a, a quick demonstration on smart plug technology and why I think this stuff is so great and more than worth the time and money to go ahead and upfit your RV with one, especially if you've had any problems at all in the past with overheating plugs or installing them. Here I've got a traditional 30 amp twist lock, like there's a millions of RVs out there. And here's the matching unit here for that. I also have a 30 amp version and a 50 amp version of, uh, of the smart plugs. So let's get into this a little bit. So right now I'm going to show you what you normally have to do when you're hooking up to shore power. Uh, you can see I've got three different connections in here. I've got a ground and a neutral and a hot, uh, so they have to be oriented exactly the same way. Here is a standard traditional cord set that you would have, uh, and if you notice, this one thing has a little hook in it, so that's your ground. That needs to go and connect in the right place in order to hook up. So if I go in like this, now I've got to snick it in place. And then I have to lock it. A lot of some people don't understand. You've got to twist it to lock it. See that little action? When I twist it, I lock it. And then you're still not done. You now have to take this ring and tie that down. If you hook up without the ring on it, this will pull out of it and it can overheat. Uh, or if you just put it, if you just connect it in like this and don't bother to lock it and twist it like that, it won't have full contact. Um, and that's what I believe causes these things to burn up. So what I like about this is you have a, you know, a, a, a straight plug-in kind of a thing happening. Uh, here's your ground. And uh, let's see, which one is the neutral? There's the hot on this side over here, and there's your neutral. Okay, it's marked on the back. And if you want to plug in your shore power connection, all you do is you take this guy right here, and they normally have a little dust cap on it, and you just go plug it in. And when you do that, that thing's locked in, and then it's got an extra little latch on it like that. This thing is in incredibly good at holding in, and a very simple to use. And to, to pop it out, you simply clamp, do these both at the same time and pull it out. This is marine-grade contacts, and these things are um, corrosion-proof compared to standard, more inexpensive ones that you might have on a, on a standard unit. Um, the other thing that it's, I'll note, and here's a, the 50 amp versus 30 amp comparison, and I've mic'd these out. They're using the same thickness of metal in the 30 amp unit as they would be as they have on the 50 amp. So that's more contact area. In fact, uh, they tell me that they have 20 times the contact area in a smart plug compared to a standard twist lock because the twist locks only make contact in this little dimple area with like a little raised detent that locks them in. The other thing that I think is really good about this is they have extremely good ways of, of linking the stuff in so you can see uh, they have an Allen key in here for torquing the stuff down. These are marked for black, white. There's me doing a little my little experiment here, testing it, and easy to install. And on the plug side of it, and yes, you can buy just this raw unit right here to go ahead and put on the end of your own shore power cord if you want. And I think it's, they have an incredibly good strain relief on this. So that locks this cord in so it doesn't yank out. I mean, so I think all of the performance parts here are really quite good. So now, one of the things that I am working on is I have a, um, I now have Hubble slash Acme as a gear sponsor. And so they're sending me Hubble plugs and they're sending me an Acme uh, 2KVA 12 volt buck boost transformer. Now, that doesn't mean anything to you, except on my desktop now, I can generate up to 166 amperes of load current. So I can take one of these guys which is what I'm planning to do here in the next month, run any amount of current that I want through these contacts. And I have FLIR cameras 
those little infrared guys that you see, you know, it looks like weather map stuff. I can actually take internal temperatures of how well this does. So I will load it up to 30 amps and, and run it for extended periods. And then the really fun one is I'm taking a 50 amp unit and I'm going to try to pass 100 amperes of current down through the neutral because that's what happens if you're in an RV park and they've miswired the pedestals so they don't have actual split phase. And I'm gonna see how this fares with 100 amps. It's gonna be interesting. Normally these other plugs just kind of melt down right away. We're gonna see how well this does. And again, I can take pictures of it in false colors and see how hot it really gets. So stay tuned for that in the next month from the little Funkstown Skunk Works here. But I am having fun while I'm kind of stuck here in the lab. But in any event, I think that, that this technology uh, really is a great upgrade to do to your RV over the winter, especially if you've had any twist lock plugs melt down. I had uh, one RV reader last year uh, said he'd gone through three, three of these twist lock plugs in, in one season. These things lead a sad life. They have an awful lot of rainwater on them and people step on them and people don't bother to clean them. I do believe that the, uh, the smart plug with um, different contacts that are rated for marine grade usage is a far better solution, much safer. Okay guys, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity, broadcasting from the Funkstown Skunk Works. I will see you later.